Charleston is world renowned for serving some of the best seafood with its own southern flair. While many come to try the best the Carolina coast has to offer, not many know how our seafood gets from the tide to our tables. So today we're casting off for McClellanville with seasoned shellfish professional Pete Cornack. I grew up just wild clamming up in Delaware where I started. I moved here in 94 and started um, wild clamming, soft shell crabs and wild oysters. Then I got a lease and my partner and I at the time started clam farming. Opened a restaurant here in McClellanville 20 some years ago. I guess we opened a restaurant in 2001. You heard that right, clam farming. It is really clam farming. We were actually planting seeds out there, lay them out like rows of corn underwater. The reason we put them in bags is to um, protect from predation. You know, we got a lot of stuff that eats clams out there. And it's a two year process. You plant them and two years later you can harvest them. We go out twice a week. We do Mondays and Thursdays for Tuesday and Friday deliveries and we do 15 to 30,000 clams a week. But clams aren't the only shellfish being harvested here. It's clams, oysters, those are the main two things that we do here. We do clams in bags and bottom plants, um, oysters in cages, we do floating cages, we also do bottom cages. If oysters and clams grow in the same place in the same conditions, what makes them different? Not a whole lot, really. They're both almost the same animal. They're both um, filter feeders. They both open up and they put their siphons out, bring food in, process to take the food out and put clean water out. Flavor profile, a little different, um, meat texture, but they're basically the same animal, or similar animal. I won't say they're the same. They're very similar animals. <laughs> Larger operations farm their clams far off the coast. Local clam farmers like Pete use public waters close to shore. There can be misconceptions about marine culture in public water, but clams are actually an incredibly important part of a healthy ecosystem. So we rent space from the Department of Natural Resources out in the water. You have to pay for it and you have to do some certain upkeep to keep your lease. Um, you got to put um, clams back in, oysters back in, plant stuff, put colch down. Just basically take care of it like they would, but that's part of our rent. The sustainability of mariculture is great because we are actually farming filter feeders. So one oyster or one clam can do up to 50 gallons of water a day, filter it and clean it. We create habitat for a ton of animals that get on our cages, oysters, barnacles, fish, crabs that eat clams. I mean, I think we're putting more out there than we're taking and I think it's only going to get better. Over the two years that a single week's harvest of clams spends in the salt marsh, they filter over 725 million gallons of water. That's over 1,100 Olympic-sized swimming pools. These clams are keeping the water clean for everyone to use and absorbing the pure essence of the coastline. This gives clams farmed around McClellanville a unique and hyper-local flavor that's one of a kind. I think our water quality, for one, we're fortunate to have them um, Francis Marion National Wildlife Preserve here. We have a long tradition of people harvesting food and eating food and really just really caring about the environment where they were brought up. And I think that gives it a special flavor. And the, our biggest factor is salinity and where we're at. We're right out behind the ocean. We've got one little barrier island between us and the ocean, so the water is very salty. We have really clean water, so we got a lot of algae, a lot of good food in the water. This is some of the cleanest water on the East Coast. And our clams are really nutty and sweet, but they're real salty too. So that's our major component. So whether you're hungry for local seafood that encapsulates the taste of our coast or want to explore some of South Carolina's exclusive ecosystem, you'll find both in McClellanville. Yeah, just come on up to the village and have a good time. <laughs>